We're going to take a look at some benchmarks. We'll start off with 3D Mark Fire Strike. As you can see, I have our decimal meter set off to the back right hand side. Uh, that is the main GPU vent. I'll put my microphone down back over there too so you can hear if the fans kick up. As always, we will be overlaying our FLIR gun, our forward looking infrared, and you can see where the heat is generated, like on the touch pad or the palm rest, the exhaust ports, things like that. And of course, we'll, we'll go over the results uh, once they're all done, as well as the temperatures. I have hardware monitor running in the background and uh, MSI afterburner so we can check out the temperatures of the CPU and the GPU with the benchmarks. All right, Fire Strike has finished up, so let's take a look at our scores here. You can see our total score, 6,538, again with us the GTX 970M and the Intel 4720HQ. Graphics score, 7,461. Physics score, 9,074. And a combined score, 2,786. Let's take a look at temperatures. The CPU here, we're looking at 86 to 88. So not too bad at all. Let's take a look at the GPU temps. Um, pretty low. So we are at 72 is the max GPU temp. Not sure if you can see that. I'll try to zoom it in. So there we go. 72 is the max. So that's very good numbers on there. Uh, pretty impressed, especially with the GPU temps. We'll run a couple more benchmarks and see how that performance is and the numbers on those. Right, second benchmark is done. We ran 3D Mark Skydiver. So you can see the score here, 17,750. We have a graphic score, 23,494. Physics score, 8,154. And a combined score of 16,662. So right on par of where we expect the GTX 970M to be. Let's take a look at the temperatures here. Kind of pretty much the same thing that we saw with Fire Strike, so 86, 87, 89 for the CPU. And the GPU temps, a little bit higher, but really nothing bad. I'm seeing 75 there. I know it's tough to see that on this screen, but I'll try to zoom in there for you. But 75 max temperature for the GTX 970M. All right, 3D Mark 11's finished up. This is going to be the last benchmark we're taking a look at. As you can see, the score is P9056. We have a graphic score of 9,596. Physics score, 7,777. And a combined score of 7,708. Take a look at hardware monitor for the CPU temps. We're looking at anywhere from 86 to 88. And the GPU temp. 72. Again, tough to see that on this screen. I'll try to zoom in without shaking it too much here. You can see that a little bit better, but good temperatures all the way throughout with all the benchmarks, especially on the GPU. All right, we are taking a look at the read write times of the M.2 SSD on here. You can see the sequential read times, 527 megabyte per second and 470.4 megabyte per second for the write time. Looking at our 4K speeds here, we're at a 21.38 read and a 60.54 write speed on there. That's more indicative to your daily use small files. So it gives you a, a good look at the drive on there you know for a SATA 3 drive really what we expect out of it good speeds and as you saw earlier really fast boot up times as well 